Your new name is dead. You are dead. Your body has ended. Physical Mo is no more. Your soul may be floating somewhere, transmuted to a foreign energy I won't recognize. I am wearing your rings to align my soul with yours. I do not have it in me to search for too long when I join you. Your new name is dead. I can call you Mo no longer. You are dead to me. I pray that this is a test. The truest moments are often hazy, falling backwards, away from clarity. It's even worse when they're on the walls, out of focus, taunting you. So I took them down. Shadows on the walls look different now. When it's all there is, it's harder to pretend you don't see them. Sheets drape over fixtures, disguising what distracts me. If I let enough time pass, I might forget what's beneath and surprise myself every day, revealing to myself what may kill me. You haven't seen me drinking. It's been long. There would be joy inside my tears whenever I had too many. After your burial today, it just leaves me dry. Drink doesn't hold me like it used to before. missing too often. So it was a common theme, waking up alone. There was a major likelihood you'd be back though with no excuse, no apology, no remorse. Unless you dealt with that yourself. Words fall out of my mouth now and I don't know what they mean. It 
Can you help me decipher? I'd visit Father Fergus sometimes when it would overwhelm me. He too made no excuse, no apology, no. Sometimes I'd picture your face on his and I'd stir inside. He said, if you marry someone without knowing who they truly are, what you're getting into, the disappointment that awaits, that's on you. Divorce wasn't an option, was it? I told him. We have too much of what you stand for in this country, Father. Too much. He spat in my face and handed me rosary beads. Then a tissue to wipe the spit away. 